Hello YouTube. I said I would make a video comparing my two different psychopses. And here they are. Can you guess which one is Mendenhall? Um, well, I'll give you a hint. It's the one that's got a really crooked um, stem or spike. So there they are. As you can see, uh, the one that's won awards and has been microcloned to death is this guy. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is much more um, brightly colored and it's larger and overall just a nicer shape. And of course it has the really awesome leaves um, and they look even nicer if you put them um, put the plant in bright light i've been i've kept it inside for a few weeks now so it's um, the dappling on the uh, the markings on the leaves have gone down quite a bit but so there they are my two psychopsis orchids and I wanted to show you one more thing. Oh, here, the bulina is still going strong. And the Dendrobium oligophyllum has been continuously blooming. And yes, it does have a fragrance, sort of like um, honeysuckle, maybe. Well, I've never really smelled honeysuckle, so it reminds me of the fake stuff I've smelled so far. And, um yeah so in soaps and lotions and stuff anyways i've brought more of my plants inside um i think i'll show you what's left outside in a minute but i just got this guy this is the dancing lady on sidium it's i don't know it's what used to be um it's what i used to think of when i thought of oncidiums but I didn't have one um, and I had been looking for it and I finally found it. It's so pretty. Look at it. Uh, let's see if it... There we go. It looks like a little... Um, it looks like a lady in a yellow dress. There's the skirt, the sleeves or whatever, and the hat. And that's the little head and chest. I don't know. It's pretty cool looking and I usually don't like yellow orchids but I mean um, I don't know I used to have thoughts of what colors I liked and disliked but I don't care anymore I think all flowers are beautiful and there is the Vanda um, Pachura Delight that's still blooming let me show you my nasturtiums. There are the nasturtiums. I just stuck some seeds in the ground and they started flowering and they've continuously flowered all summer long. And they're edible flowers. They taste like um, beets. This guy here is Osmanthus fragrance. This is a uh, not the normal cultivar you see in places uh, but it sometimes smells like a peach sometimes it smells like just a spicy rose but um, I don't know it's not as fragrant as I expected it to be but maybe that's just because it's a small flower I mean it's small plant no it's supposed to grow up to be a huge tree so there's that and those are my um, dendrobium orchids that I've left outside. It's really cold now, but I um, think they need a really cold period for them to set buds. Uh, looks like I'm getting some buds on my gardenia. I have to take this inside soon. But gardenia usually need a cold period to set bud as well. So this guy's still outside. 
and that's my kale um, it's huge really there's my hand there's a leaf that is the Russian red Russian kale it is it's delicious and it grows like a weed really I don't I don't think I've watered it all summer maybe once or twice but it's grown so lush it's in a tiny little it's in a big pot but imagine if you grew a few of these you wouldn't have to buy any kale uh, all, all year long oh, my pomegranate is still alive which is a surprise <laughs> um, I think I'll take it in soon um, this is lemongrass and I will take this in soon as well so that's pretty much all that's left outside uh, that's a Meyer lemon and that's the other gardenia so I'll take those inside soon but um, yeah that's pretty much all uh, thank you for watching I will see you guys next time